April 18, 1909, Pius X beatified the woman who had become the patron of France, Saint Joan of Arc. Joan lived in a time of war and confusion. The divided French failed to extend the truce with England, and Henry V invaded France in 1415. The English conquered much of northern France, while the French king, Charles, gradually lost his support. The year was 1424, and Joan was 12 when she began to experience visions. In the visions, she saw St. Catherine of Alexandria, St. Margaret of Antioch, and the Archangel Michael. The visions had urged her to go to France, meaning the royalty of France, and drive out the English. She was told in the visions that God supported Charles's claim to the throne, but Joan was refused when she asked to be taken to the royal court. The English army in October of 1428 placed the city of Orléans under siege, and Joan was finally allowed to see Charles's presence. Joan arrived in March and told the king she was the answer to his prayer, asking God to give him help if he was the rightful heir. That March, Joan dictated letters to the English commanders at Orléans, saying that God supported Charles's claim and advising them to go back to England. The English refused, and Joan, once fitted with a suit of armor and under a banner of Jesus, brought the army to a city south of Orléans. She started to reform the troops, driving away the prostitutes and requiring the men to go to church and confession. Many others volunteered for the campaign when word spread that a saint was now the head of the army. The French won the city of Orléans and then moved on to win many more battles with Joan of Arc leading the way and carrying the banner onto the battlefield. Joan was captured during a skirmish in May 1430. She was condemned for heresy, excommunicated, and burnt at the stake. Her remains were thrown into the Seine River. Joan of Arc was later pronounced innocent of heresy in 1456. Although she was seen as a saint, even in her lifetime, she wasn't officially beatified until 1909 by Pope Pius X.